What's up, Mets fans? Welcome back. Talking Mets and Rob. How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining in. Before I get started about talking about the Taiwan Walker update, don't forget, guys, if you enjoy this video, smash on that like button. And if you enjoy all my content, want to see more, want to get those notifications when I post my videos and when I go live, hit on that subscribe button, everybody. All right, guys. Taiwan Walker to the Mets. Well, earlier today, about 9, 9 o'clock in the morning, about 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, there was a, a small-time reporter who broke the Charlie Morton to the Braves deal very early in the offseason. Uh, came out today and said that the Mets and Tyron Walker is close to a deal roughly worth around 35 to 39 million over three years with a fourth year club option. The guy's name is Alex Zarnowski. He was one of the first ones to report about the Charlie Morton to the Braves early in the off season. He hasn't really broke anything since, but he is a small time writer, a baseball writer in the middle of the country for a small time newspaper. But he did break. He did. He was one of the first ones to come out with the Charlie Morton to the Braves. So, does this actually have merit when it comes to Tyrone Walker and the Mets? Um, I don't know, but I thought it would be interesting to bring it out there to you guys because maybe not everybody was able to see this on Twitter. And I did uh, retweet it, and somebody did also retweeted this uh, tweet. So it's possible that a deal could be close, but... There's no confirmation from, you know, the big time reporters, Ken Rosendahl, Joe Sherman, Anthony DeComo, guys like that, you know, the big boys or J Jeff Passan, guys like that. But Alex Zarnowski uh, stated this morning that the deal could be close to being done with the Mets between 35 and $39 million for three years with a club option for the fourth year. We'll see where this takes us. But at the moment, Tywin Walker is still not a Met. But it is interesting to know that the Mets probably are more interested. Ever since the Bauer situation went down, they really focus on the middle of the rotation type guys like the Walkers, like the Odorizzi's that really haven't been talked about much about Jake Odorizzi. But it's still a possibility because Odorizzi's still out there and Walker's still out there. The Mets were in on Paxton to the last minute, but they didn't want to give the extra couple million dollars to get him. So it seems like the Mets can possibly be focused on Tyrone Walker and possibly a deal could be done soon. It seems like that because of this report, you know, sometimes when there's smoke, there's fire, but the deal is not done yet. There is no deal, but Tyrone Walker is a really good possibility and a great addition to this Mets team if the Mets do sign him. As you know, Tyrone Walker played for Seattle and Toronto in 2020, and he wasn't very good in 20 in, uh, with Seattle in 2020 with a couple of games. It was about five games he played, but we're going to look at his stats in a little bit so we can go into a little bit more detail when it comes to Tyrone Walker. So as of right now, there was a report on Twitter from a small-time beat baseball reporter in the middle of the country who broke the Charlie Morton to the Braves very early in the offseason named Alex Zarnowski. He said that the possible deal with the Mets and Tyron Walker could be between 35 to $39 million over three years and a fourth-year club option. So when we get into Tyron Walker and why the Mets – might possibly want him. And the reason why they want him is because he is a middle of the rotation guy, clearly what the Mets need. And when we look at the stats with Tyrone Walker, it looks like this. Now in 2018 and 2019, in 2018, he had uh, early in the season, in the middle of April, he had a UCL injury and it turned out that he needed Tommy John surgery, which lost him out in 2018. And when he came back in 2019, he wasn't, he, he wasn't 100% back, and it affected him. He didn't pitch basically at all except for one game in 2019. So we're going to look into 2020. In 2020, 
his total ERA with Seattle and Toronto was a 2.70. With Seattle, it was a 4 ERA. And with Toronto, when he got there in six games, he had a 1.37 ERA. He was basically dominant for the six games he pitched for the Toronto Blue Jays. And he pitched 27, 26 innings for Toronto and 27 innings for Seattle. And he had 25 strikeouts come for each team, Seattle and Toronto, in 2020. Now, Tywin Walker isn't the, obviously the, one of the better pitchers in the game, but I think he could be solid enough to be that fourth, fifth guy in the rotation, depending on what you want to do with Peterson as a fourth or fifth guy behind Stroman. Now, the Mets have a solid rotation when it comes to DeGrom, Carrasco, Stroman, Peterson. And we'll leave Syndergaard out for a little bit because he's not projected to be back until sometime in May, possibly June. Walker can just be that solid pitcher to be the the hold until Syndergaard comes back from Tommy John. I like Taiwan Walker. I was an advocate for Taiwan Walker. Even when Bauer was still out there, I thought Bauer was a ridiculous sign-in for the Mets, if, even though they almost got him technically, in quotation marks. But Taiwan Walker was the guy I wanted. And I think he can be a really good addition to this team. I don't know about the three, four years, but, you know, he's not old. He's 27 years old, 28 years old. So even if he, we, the Mets do give him a three-year deal, he's only going to be 31, 32. It's not terrible. So would I want him on a three-year deal? I won't mind it, but I'd rather have him on a two-year deal. And... It just gives us a little more flexibility in two years, especially when DeGrom can opt out in 2022 of his contract. And, you know, we have to look, think about talk, uh, extending Syndergaard and possibly Stroman. So there's a lot of things that go into that. So flexibility is a key for the Mets, especially if you sign Tyron Walker to a three-year deal. But I would prefer a two-year deal. But we're picking, you know, I, I'm not going to get, you know, into a – crazy bidding situation for two or three years. It is what it is. We get him for three years. We get him for three years. Tyrone Walker is solid. And if the Mets get him, I like that move. Now, when it comes to his projected stats in 2021 uh, from baseball references, at the age of 28, you'd have eight and seven, 3.82, 132 innings, 130 strikeouts, and 51 walks, 19 home runs, 56 earned runs. That's a decent, pretty good fifth starter, if you ask me. A 3.87? Can't really ask for more than that, to be honest. Could he be better than that? Sure. Could he be that pitcher he was in Toronto for the six games and be a dominant 1.7 ERA? I take that. But I'm not going to go crazy. I take a 3.82 ERA. It's a lot better than what we have the last couple of years with Matt's Porcello and Waka which was a complete disaster as our fourth and fifth starters. But I can deal with, I can really enjoy and be confident in this rotation with David Peterson and Tyron Walker as the fourth and fifth starter waiting for Syndergaard to come back in sometime in May or June. That's what I like to see. And Tyron Walker is the guy I want the Mets to get. I I like Jake Odorizzi, but I'd rather have Tywin Walker. He's a little younger, and I feel like there's more of an upside to Tywin Walker than there is to Jake Odorizzi. That's my take on Tywin Walker, and that is the update on Tywin Walker at this current moment. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, guys, hit on that like button. And if you enjoy all my content, want to see more videos, want to get notifications when my videos and when I go, when I post my videos and when I go live, guys, hit on that subscribe button, guys. Let's get it. I'm trying to get the 500 subscribers, hopefully soon 1,000 subscribers. And then we're going to talk about big, big things with this channel, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank you guys for your support. And as always, let's go Mets.